Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about wedding planning, my tips for you guys, do's and don'ts. I enjoyed planning my wedding so much. I am a natural planner, a natural organizer. I think that is my strong. So I might be a little biased in regards to me enjoying wedding planning because I know that a lot of people have said it is a very stressful process to plan your wedding and everything, but I kind of, didn't really feel stressful at all. Maybe there was two times when I was a little overwhelmed, but I was just surprised at how well I handled the whole situation. So I hope that my experience will help you guys out in regards to wedding planning. So let's just get started. I think the first uh, tip or do that I would suggest is to set a budget. We all have a dream wedding. Let's just face it, all of us girls are always just on Pinterest, pinning a bunch of stuff for our dream wedding. But we really have to be realistic. Life is expensive, parties are expensive, weddings are super expensive. So my tip for you is to really set yourself a budget and try to stick to that budget. It may seem like this is the best day of your life and it really is. But we want to be realistic and you don't want to be in debt. So do set yourself a budget that is doable um, and then go from there. So that is the first tip. My second tip for you guys is to write down everything and I mean everything. If a venue person gave you a quote and they gave you a receipt, save that receipt because People might forget or some people might try to charge you more or give you a different quote once you're really into your wedding planning. So you just want to make sure you are writing everything down. You're keeping receipts of everything. That way, if anybody comes and tells you, hey, it's a little bit more or hey, actually, I changed my prices. You show up with your receipt and you tell them this is the price you gave me and this is the price we agreed to pay. I think it happened to me a couple of times. Um, there was some misunderstandings, but having those receipts are gonna save you so much because let's face it, nobody wants to have a change in their budget and also you're going to limit the amount of stress in your wedding planning. So that would be like my tip number two. Tip number three, I would say it's more of a don't or, you know, however you want to take it. But I honestly believe in this one so strongly. Do not compare your wedding to anybody else's wedding. Because when you do that, when you compare yourself, your wedding to a past wedding that's coming up, or maybe a friend of yours is getting married as well in the same year, it's just not good it's not healthy and it is not okay to do that because everybody has different budgets everybody has different likes and dislikes so i would say just focus in your day don't focus about what your friend had or her wedding or what somebody else is having at their wedding just don't try to impress anybody. Don't try to impress your guests. Don't try to impress your family or even yourself. Honestly, at the end of the day, for me, when I look back at my wedding, I just like think about the fun I had, how amazing it was to be surrounded by my loved ones and just marrying the love of my life. Honestly, at the end of the day, something I did not realize when I was planning my wedding, but I did have that constant a mentality of not comparing my wedding to past weddings or weddings that were to come let me tell you that is probably one of the best tips that is just going to help you so much to enjoy the process of wedding planning and kind of the fourth thing i would say or another tip is if you do not like planning and you don't like organizing you might want to look into a wedding planner I say this, I didn't get a wedding planner because I knew the type of person I am. I love to organize, I love to plan. Everybody who knows me knows that about me. So I knew that well, what, I, what I was getting myself into and I decided no, I don't want a wedding planner, I don't want anybody, I'm gonna do it all myself. Uh, having have said that, I did have someone the day of the wedding that kind of just went through the flow of the event. I had made a schedule for them to follow uh, because let's face it, the day of your wedding, you want to enjoy it. And that connects to kind of one of my other tips for you guys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your wedding. Your wedding will not be perfect. And that took me a while to realize, but I'm so glad I did because honestly there were a few things that went wrong the day of my wedding and if i hadn't had that mentality of something's gonna go wrong i need to prepare myself for it i would have just been 
oh gosh, I feel like I would have freaked out and had such a horrible attitude because I stress so fast, you guys. So let me tell you, something will go wrong in your wedding. It will, I promise you. But what you're gonna do is you need to assign a person who is gonna handle the problem and you need to step away from it and enjoy your wedding because you only have a wedding once. T technically, I mean, that's what you are shooting for, to only get married once. But that's what I did. I knew I did not wanna make any decision the day of, so I told my mom and my sister, be like, anything happens, you take care of it. I'm going to enjoy my wedding. So that's another thing that I totally, totally recommend. Another thing, and a lot of people don't think about this, is there are so many details to wedding planning. So you really want to jot down every idea you have for everything. I think one of the things that a lot of people don't plan is what are you going to wear the day of your wedding when you're getting ready? So that's actually important if you are very like, if you really want some aesthetic looking good aesthetic looking pictures uh so for me what i did is you know i got everybody robes we wanted to look very cute that way when the photographer was taking pictures of you it would look very pretty i also would recommend to really think about the place where you're gonna get ma married <laughs> the, the place where you're gonna get ready before your wedding that was something for me that i was like you know what, it's important because I'm gonna be getting ready here and it needs to look pretty so then the pictures look extra pretty. With that being said as well, because I am a very stressful person, I try to plan things in a way that would um, limit the amount of stress I would get into. For example, I you know ask all of my bridesmaids to please stay and spend the night over with me before my wedding day. That way I would not be freaking out if someone was missing, if someone was running late. So I would recommend things like that that you can have a control of, try to do as well. And a last big, big thing about wedding planning, and I don't wanna make this video too long, um, but I would say when you're getting married, people are still going through things. Life is still going to happen. Um, you know, I feel like there is this thing about brides just wanting things done a certain way and trying to control so much because whatever the bride wants, she gets. And I honestly disagree with this because um, there was a lot of times during my wedding planning that my friends and my family were going through hard situations. And I honestly was not going to put myself in the position of wanting them to do something for me that I knew they couldn't do because they were going through a tough situation. So do remember, yes, you are the bride. Yes, you are special. It is the best day of your life and everybody's there for you. But do remember that even though you're getting married and you're planning your wedding, it's not all about you. And that was hard for me to understand, but I am glad that I I tried to remind myself that every day. And I told my husband and my mom and my sister, please, if you see me doing Bridezilla, knock it off of me because I do not want to lose friends. I do not want to have any conflicts with people and i don't want to be selfish you know i think what makes the bride so beautiful is that glow that she gets because she's marrying the love of her life and it's just such a beautiful stage in your life and you want to show a good character you want to show hey i'm ready to get married and i'm here for everybody it's not just about me but about my friends and my family and i feel like that's something that a lot of people don't talk about with wedding planning because it's hard to tell a bride hey uh you know what it's not all about you it's about other people too but you know take that into consideration that even though you're living the happiest days of your lives there might be tough things your friends are going through your family or you know even yourself so really do you know bring yourself back to say hey yes i'm planning this great day of my life but also um i need to be there for other people and not want things done my way all the time so that's something that i would say i am going to leave it as it is right now i hope you guys enjoy this video so much i do want to make another video a little bit more specific into wedding planning let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and god bless you